you that. Look at it. Now respect it. Mmm. Respect that, man. Respect it. Shut up. What are you doing? Ow! Fuck out the way. What's up, everybody? Baking your ass out. Rock it. Rock it. Yeah. Tighten that shit up. Tighten it up. Yeah. It was better. He's getting now. Fucking sweating for some reason. <laughs> How did they say my girlfriend broke up over a text message? Ain't that some bullshit, man? That's crazy. Over a text message? No respect. None at all, man. First of all, thank you for all your videos. They make me laugh and I, it gets me motivated in the gym. Hey, man, no problem. Yeah, anytime. Anytime. <laughs> I booked this girl for about a month and every, everything has went been great. Oh, they're still in that grace period. <clears throat> yeah, you're still in that grace period, man. Well, you're I still would. in probation. <laughs> I went in that probationary period. Them first six days, man, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta cross your T's and dot your I's, man. I would nearly say it was perfect. At first day, we just clicked instantly. We both believed that it was meant to be. We all gonna get burned and have kids and have that white picket fence, man. Is that what you talking about? And she even told me that she never felt that good about a man. Huh. Like she did with me. Really? Though there were something strange about her, she wanted it to be like a secret relationship. What? She wanted to be secret from the start. Red flag! <laughs> she lives with her mom and sister and I never get to meet them. Huh. Or see where she lives. That's fucking weird. That's another red flag. You don't know where this girl live? Seen her for a month. Though she always borrowed her mother's car when she was going over to see me, she wanted... But they call called Stoke. She wanted to see my parents, so last week we went for dinner there and she liked them and it was great. But whenever I asked her why I couldn't see her parents or where she lived, she just told me that I was pushing her. Mm -mm -mm. I said to her that I didn't want to push her and make and making it go going too fast for her. I understand it. I understood it everything. I just cynics fragment right now. <laughs> But I didn't really get an answer why. So this weekend we were together alone in my apartment. Mm. Mm. That's just a potion for some pleasure. All weekend was romantic and beautiful. You know what that means. <laughs> Busting all kinds. We invited my parents over for coffee, which was even, which was even her idea. Every night was full of passion and love. We were busting all kinds of nuts in the shower. And when she left Sunday morning, I said, thanks for a great weekend. And she said, thanks for helping me bust them three. <laughs> She said the same to me. My problem here is that one day after I receive a, a SMS. It's a text message. That's a what? It's a text message. Where she wrote that I was that it was over between us. <laughs> For me, it didn't make any sense and it just came out of the blue sky. <laughs> I bet you it's like, oh, I got a text message from her. Well, she probably wants to come over. Yeah. Oh, must oh come over. fuck. She just dumped my ass. What the fuck? What the fuck did I do? If I was the best man she ever has met and she believed that we were meant to be, why would she dump me over a fucking, uh, dump me over a text message? I don't know what to do because she can't give me any answer and that frustrates me. Time to move on. It but sounds like to me. Let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say something. Yeah, how old was she? Hold on, hold on. They need some young, but let me tell you something. Just call, let's say you lay down with a girl. Y'all have sex and she tell you, you got the biggest mushroom tip she's ever had. You gonna believe that shit? Yeah. She probably told every guy that. Yeah. Just call a girl tells you that doesn't mean it's that true. it's uh it's true, man. Yeah. A lot of times girls will tell you bullshit just to make you feel good because they they genuinely care about how you feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But she didn't let, let let you know where she lived at. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm thinking because she had somebody else. I'm thinking she was living with somebody else. That's what I'm thinking, man. Or she was in between boyfriends. She just mm -hmm. broke up. And if he came back, she was going to dump your ass anyway. Yeah. Which what probably happened. He no, came it's, back. Yeah, it's the same thing when you get a girl's phone number. Oh, can I have your phone? Oh, I don't know my cell number. Can I get yours? Because she goes home and there's somebody else in her life and she don't want to see some... She don't want her man to see another man calling her. Same reason why she didn't want you to know where she lived, man. Long story short, well, she, she had a dude know. coming up there knocking on the door. Hey! It's Jimmy! Teresa home? 
to you. Coming inside. What the fuck? What the fuck is this shit? You know? That's why she didn't tell you, man. That's why she didn't tell you where she lived, man. Long story short, what you need to know is she's with somebody currently who she really wants to be with. Hate to break it to you. Yeah. Stop searching for answers. She was just... Your answer is this. She's with the person she wants to be with. It's no longer you. Just yeah. move, she was, move on. You was just a flame. She, she's got yeah. somebody right now she's with and you, she yeah. was just fooling around with you.